Have you ever thought of calculating the mass of Earth? Yes, I mean to say the mass of the Earth, the Mother Earth on which we are living. Now, uh, in this particular video, what I am trying to show you is that how we can calculate the mass of Earth. Now, Newton, Isaac Newton, published in 1686, which we have come across a very famous formula, which is F equals to G m1 m2 whole divided by r squared we know we are quite familiar about this formula now uh, it was published in the year of 1686 uh, his famous epoch making work uh, which is called philosophy naturalis principia mathematica this was published the uh, uh, I would say the uh, all the rules of me mechanics and the uh, rules of the bodies, Newtonian mechanics, vector, everything. So, uh, but it was uh, during that time Isaac Newton didn't had the uh, I would say the sensitive instrument in through which he could calculate the value of g. Now, from 1686, it took a long time until in 1798. You see, it is almost a duration of 100 years until in 1798, a British mathematician, Henry Cavendish, his name was Henry Cavendish, a British mathematici mathematician, who finally calculated the value of G, that is, this universal gravitational constant. And we can write it G, as we know now today, at 6.67 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square kilogram squared so it took almost a year a hundred years from 1686 to 1798 for a British mathematician called Henry Cavendish to get the value of G as soon as we arrived at the value of G it becomes extremely easy for the physicists to calculate the mass of earth and let us sh uh, see how it was done now we know from the previous formula that W equals to mg this we have calculated earlier, which is the weight as the force of gravity on the object. That is the force of gravity or gravity on the object. Also, from this, if we can rewrite the formula in a little bit different way, we get F equals to G. I put it as capital M, and then I put as ME, that is the mass of the Earth, followed by D squared, that is the distance. So just, uh, I, if I can draw it, it would, show, it would look like something like this. We have got uh, our earth, this is the one, and we have got the mass of a body sitting just right on the top over here, and this is the distance right from the center, we make it as D, right? So what I'm trying to show you is that when W equals to mg and uh, F equals to gm times me whole divided by the distance d, d squared, both of these formulas, both of this formula have to tell us the same answer. What I'm trying to tell you is that both will tell us the force uh, in terms of Newton, which is pulling the mass m down towards this center of the earth. This mass m pulling the, towards the center of the earth. So this and this would eventually show the same results. So let us see how. Equating these two, and I am, uh, I am putting off the uh, f part, what we get is that we get mg, we get mg equals to capital G m times me, this is a small m, me, whole divided by d squared, that is the distance. So we cancel both the m's out in this part. Okay, let me rewrite this part. Let me rewrite this one. Let me rewrite this for you. So we can rewrite this as mg, mg equals to, I, I, I put it as capital G, and here I put this as m times me, that is a that is the mass of the earth whole divided by d squared I cancel out these two m and what I get from here what I get from here is this one what I get is g equals to g m e whole divided by d squared and writing fresh what we get over here is that d squared g if I multiply this part d squared g equals to gme we get gme 
and here uh, by, by, by flipping over these sides what we can write over here is that Me mass of earth equals to G d squared whole divided by G. So this is one which we have got the mass of the earth. Now you see all these values are constant. All these values are constant. So let me just quickly plug in these values and let us see how things happen. So we get the mass of earth Me equals to G which I put is as 9.8 Newton per kilogram multiplied by a d squared distance squared so I get it as 6.38 this is the distance from the center of the earth 10 to the power 6 whole squared meter squared and this would be whole divided by the gravitational constant which Henry Cavendish found out at 6.67 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter squared per kg squared per kg right this is the gravitational constant so uh, uh, what we have got over here what we have got over here you see this is Newton's right so this one would be kg squared I'm so sorry so this one is Newton this one is Newton right this one is in meter this was in meter why we, we, we calculated the distance from the center of the earth in terms of meter because this part we cannot compare pin to elephant so we have to make everything same this is in kg squared this is in kg so eventually they would cancel out and by solving this particular equation this uh, solving this particular equation what we will get is the mass of the earth that is it would be roughly equal to 5.972 times 10 to the power 24 kilograms 10 to the power 24 kilograms and this is actually what we are looking that is the mass of the earth now you see that uh, how we did this the calculation actually showed right from the beginning that we we find out this we equated these two w equals to mg both the m's cancelled out and by simple calculations we did this now just let me quickly tell you g this is the value in terms of newton distance is the distance right from the center of the earth which is already known and which has been solved many years ago by the greek philosophers and this one is the g and this is how the uh, the unit stands the same and we come to uh, solving the value of the uh, the mass of the earth now another small, small thing which I would like to show in this video is that how we can solve this part in a different way I mean to say uh, the same calculation would be done in a different sense so just let me show a quick small example of that and I hope you will appreciate that what I, why I'm trying to show this thing now uh, from Newton's formula uh, we also know we know this part we know that F equals to if I write it in, in this way G capital M small m whole divided by R squared we know this right now we also know that W equals to mg which we uh, I showed in the previous part now here W this W is your uh, weight in terms of Newton is the same as the force this would be same as the force so we can just substitute W equals to F equals to mg right so I'm just what I'm trying to give it a point is that but W is your weight in Newton it is the same as the force force to uh, so we can equate them by substituting F equals to mg so just let me quickly uh, shift it over to here you say if I can substitute this force with this value what we get over here what we get over here is that we get mg I will show I will just explain you why I'm showing this to you equals to G capital M small m whole divided by r squared right so this m and this m gets cancelled out right so this two gets gets cancelled out so from here what we get is that g r squared g r squared equals to g m further solving we get g g equals to g m by r squared so we get this part and this is exactly what we call acceleration due to gravity this is exactly what we call acceleration due to gravity g equals to gm by r squared right 
Now, when we got this, we can further write this equation as m equals to g r squared by g, right? Obviously, m. Why I'm trying writing is m because we will tr try to find out soon uh, the mass of the uh, mass of the Earth. Now, say for example, when, once we have come to this con conclusion, m equals to g r r squared. This is our formula. Let us quickly see uh, the values what we want to show you uh, g equals to 9.8 meter per second squared that this is the acceleration due to gravity g as we have already found through uh, the earlier equation and the formulation 6.67 minus 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter squared per kg squared right and m is something this part which you are trying to find out so we put it m as question mark and R, we uh, uh, write it as a distance, we write it in 6.38 into 10 to the power 6. And we plug in this, the same value, the G, the M, and the R squared. And here, what we get from for this particular mass, if we, if we just plug in these values. So let me just write with this value, M equals to G R squared by G. And we put in the value of g, 9.8. I just uh, omit this meters per second square. Then I write multiplied by r, 6.38 multiplied by 10 to the power 6. And also I write g, I just omit these numbers for convenience, equals to 10 to the power minus 11. Here also you will see, I will just put a different color so that it becomes clear to you. And here also it is equal to, when we solve this maths out, we'll find this is equal to 5.972 multiplied by 10 to the power 24 kilograms. So you see that when uh, what I tried to show you is that if we deduce this formula through F equals to G and we get uh, this part that is the uh, the, gravity, uh, the, 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 the formula of acceleration due to gravity and we solve out and we just put this constant see these are our constant g, g, m and only the unknown factor is this part m so what we get from here is that the same value that is the mass of the earth that is the mass of the earth 5.972 and you see in this same way when we done in the previous part we found the same value now just two points before we conclude this video just two points which I would like to mention to you. Uh, in this particular part, what you need to know, this 9.8, as you have mentioned, it shows two, two things. So just let me draw, draw a line. This 9.8, so one is that the gravitational field strength on the surface of Earth, the gravitational field strength on the surface of the Earth is 9.8 Newton per kg, right? And also sometimes you will find that acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second squared. So don't get confused by these two terms. One is the gravitational field strength on the surface of Earth is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. And this one is acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second squared, which means that all bodies accelerate at the same rate, barring the air restriction and other factors. So weight, say for example, if you want to write the weight in terms of Newton, say for example, it would be mass in kg times uh, it would be Newton per kg. So weight would be Newton uh, in terms of mass into multiplied by Newtons, which is in terms of gravity. It's a gravitational field strength. And the equation sometimes is also written like this, which you have seen, is a Newton mass for example per kg divided by meter per second squared so just wanted to make a note on this don't get confused by these two terms i repeat this one is the gravitational field strength on the surface of the earth is this much newtons per kg this is 9.8 is the acceleration due to gravity that means the bodies are, will accelerate down to the uh, center of the at the same rate except the restrictions in terms of air frictions and other uh, imped, uh, impediments which it will uh, get through it. So now you see that this is one formula 
which we know that f equals to g m 1 m 2 and through which we have deduced the uh, mass of the earth and here also you will see in this part we ha I have shown that how we can equate w equals to m g which is ultimately resulting to this same part. Thank you very much for watching. What of, watch out for more videos and stay, stay, stay safe and stay happy. Thank you very much.